Hey there, people. So today I'm giving you a Rust quarry guide for 2017, actually the later half of 2017, because some major changes have been made and quarries now become necessary for high quality metal farming if you want to crank out guns and stuff like that. Um, so there were some recent updates, one at the end of June, which changed how ore nodes work and a couple since then. Uh, so my previous guide on ore nodes is a little outdated. Um, you will find now that stone ore nodes, like I think there's one over there, um, will only give you stone and metal ore nodes will only give you metal and um, sulfur ore nodes will only give you sulfur. And these are spaced out across the map now. So um, it becomes a little more complicated to get the resources that you want and that's where a quarry comes in. Um, you will get, uh, because of the new ore changes, you will get only two high quality metal when you finish a metal ore node, that's all you get. The rest is metal fragments. Um, and the de developer has, uh, has stated that you basically need a quarry to pump out guns now. So I'm gonna show you how that works. Um, this covers also the more recent changes on how quarries themselves work and their yields. And uh, I'm gonna talk about some suggested further changes that might be coming. So um, basically the static, this is what a quarry looks like by the way. So you might come across one near a warehouse. Um, that's the sort of pre-generated quarry that's in the game uh, near the warehouse uh, monument. And that one will now give you five times as much stone as it used to, which is pretty big. Um, how quarries work, of course, is, well, there's this big machine. You have these barrels and uh, you can open these. These are not just for looting. Um, you need to put... Um, fuel in there so i have put some fuel in there and uh, then of course you just climb up here and you start the engine at the top so just to show you that's how it works and uh yeah so as far as making your own um stone quarry metal quarry etc uh, it's going to depend actually where you are now which is a change as well uh the what resources you will get from your quarry will depend where you are. If you're in the temperate biome, like where I am now, you're just gonna get some stone. I don't even get any because um, I didn't let that run long enough. But if I let that run, it's a minute and a half um, for the basic quantity, basically. Um, it needs 10 low grade fuel for every minute and a half of operation. And uh, we'll get to how much it's gonna crank out. Um, but you're gonna get stone if you're in the temperate biome. Uh, sorry, actually, you're going to get regular metal ore. You're going to get stone regardless of what biome you're in. Uh, you're going to get regular metal, metal ore only if you're in the temperate biome, sulfur ore only if you're in the arid biome, and high quality metal you will now only get if you're in the Arctic biome. So if you're wanting to crank out those guns, you're going to need to uh, get yourself up to the Arctic, find a spot where you can get high quality metal, and I'll get to that in a second, and then set up your quarry there. So how it works. Um, by the way, these more recent changes are because the developers are pushing to get out of early access around the end of the year. If you read the developer blog, that's uh, that's kind of what this is about. They're trying to you know rebalance the gameplay a bit. Oh, that's an interesting planet. <laughs> uh, or is that a moon? I don't know, anyway, yeah. Um, they're pushing to get out of early access and they want to rebalance the gameplay and make it a little more fair, a little more interesting for, you know, whatever type of player you are. If you're a solo player, you don't want to be uh, dealing with um, all kinds of people cranking out guns and all that stuff. So they're, they're trying to make it a little less griefing, a little more gameplay. And uh, okay, so uh, to set up a quarry, you're going to need to use survey charges and survey charges will be under your tools crafting area. Um, that's right here and you'll find them right here and as you can see it's 30 gunpowder, 5 cloth, 10 metal fragments and 20 low grade fuel to craft one and uh, well I was lucky I just randomly came across an airdrop and there were 20 in there but how it works um, you just place one down wait for it to explode and you may or may not see any resources pop out that one was a dud so <laughs> I got no resources in that area and that's how it works. Different areas of the map will have different amounts of resources. So you're basically going to need to uh, throw some of these around here and there. And it's recommended generally that you space them out roughly uh, equivalent to five to seven 
um, foundation size spaces and uh, that's kind of the spacing that the map works as far as um, different tiles of the map so to speak that will have uh, different resources and I am not getting lucky down here maybe it's because I'm too close to the road uh, where I built that quarry because I did build that one uh, was just on some stone there we go oh and that is good so um, another change yeah there's metal ore here so that's a good one and that's a sign that I can get metal here but again since I'm in the temperate area it's just gonna be metal fragments but uh, what your survey charge will do if you find a good spot is you'll have this crater and now a new change as well is that you can perform the analysis and you can see that here um, I'll need to go into my inventory to actually read that yeah so stones and this is going to tell you this note is your mineral analysis it will tell you um, how much stone you're going to get per minute and metal ore per minute now your your quarry actually uses fuel based on a minute and a half at a time but uh, that's gonna be 10 low-grade fuel for every minute and a half so basically 20 low-grade fuel you're gonna get three times this much uh, over three minutes and that's kinda how it works so once you found a spot like that uh, let's drop this previous survey that I had done and uh, we can now set up a quarry in that location basically you set it down right on top of that um, crater left by your survey charge and placing it is is a little interesting and I'll we'll see if it's even gonna let me place this I had trouble with the other one actually um, it might be because I'm relatively near a monument or because I'm right next to the road but that's how it works you'll see you see how it anchors itself right on that uh, spot and yeah, I think I'm going to have to do another one here. But uh, anyway, you anchor it right on top of that crater. And place it down. There we go. I, it's still the same resources, so I assume it's still the same map tile as far as the game is concerned. So it anchors it right on that crater. And you kind of rotate it around and hope that it... Uh, yeah, there we go will let you actually place it <laughs> and now this quarry is actually going to generate some metal fragments for me if I've loaded up with fuel and run it for a while and that's basically how you do it as far as setup um, and that analysis will tell you again how much you're going to get per minute um, quarries have been changed as well in terms of how much they cost to construct uh, it used to cost a lot more but uh, now it's 5,000 wood 1500 metal fragments six gears and four sheet metal you'll find that under uh, the build section here and here it is 5000 wood 1500 metal fragments six gears and one sheet metal and I can go ahead and craft another one uh, and it's gonna take a while <laughs> and uh, the other thing is of course you're going to want to protect it so you'll want some of these um, probably some stone gates and some stone walls you're gonna to want to build them tightly around so that people can't uh, you know build next to them and uh, climb over and all that kind of stuff so we'll queue up some of those and uh, essentially you're gonna to want to build fortifications around your quarry to keep it safe from raiders and uh, of course that's gonna be a bit of a battle you can build little base components around it as well uh, and you know defenses and so on but but because it's a building and the way rust works you have to build a certain uh, distance from the actual quarry itself so you can only build it so tight in but you're gonna want to build it in basically as tight as you can uh, to get a, a big you know palisade or wall all the way around it save yourself from getting raided too easily uh, maybe you know build some other stuff there but probably not your main base it's basically gonna be a, a secondary location or something like that um, maybe you'll have a base nearby whatever you want to do but uh, you're gonna want to protect your quarry and uh, yeah that's the basic idea okay so I'm actually just inserting this in the middle because I forgot one thing which is that uh, the developer plan uh, that I mentioned as far as changes that might be coming um, the plan according to the developer blog is to make like a hot cold mini game because they've added sort of a, a mini game to ore mining where you can basically um, 
crack those rocks faster by hitting the shiny spots. And they're talking about potentially doing like a hot cold mini game with uh, finding the best spots for uh, resources for a quarry, which would be, you know, basically it's going to tell you the distance from a major deposit. Every time you place a survey charge, it's going to give you, you know, a, a bit of stuff or tell you how much um, is there at that location. But it's also going to give you like a, a distance to like the ideal location. And uh, that way you can kind of like plant charges around an area until, it, you know, hot or cold. It'll, are you getting closer to the deposit or farther away from the deposit? And that way you can find the uh, ideal spot. Um, anyway, this is not in the game yet, but it's something that uh, they talked about in the blog that might happen, so worth mentioning. And uh, placing a survey charge right on the actual deposit proper, the, the like proper good deposit would yield a bunch of resources, which again uh, would be a way of uh, getting some resources without even placing the quarry itself. So uh, lots of big changes in terms of how these work and how necessary they are. Um, but if you want to crank out some guns, you're going to need one. And uh, in that case, you're probably going to want to do it up in the Arctic biome and find a spot where you place your survey charge and some uh, little bit of high quality metal flies out of the ground when it explodes. That's basic, your basic sign of where to put it if that's what you're looking for. Um, you know, Similar idea if you're wanting to quarry, uh, mine some sulfur. Um, go to the arid biome, place a survey charge, look for a spot where some sulfur flies out. But do that analysis and that'll tell you exactly how well you're going to do. You'll also be able to run around now and place survey charges uh, here and there along the way. And like if you don't, oh, that's interesting, a spot just popped right in front of me. But um, if you don't uh, actually want to build a quarry or defend a quarry, you can just run around and place survey charges and get the basic... Um, resource loot that pops out of the ground when you do it. That's another approach. Uh, but anyway, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.